Today's video is about what I think you guys should be looking for when you are looking for a posture brace. And we're gonna talk about that right now. Welcome back, my name is Ashley Osier and I'm the Posture Specialist. If this is your first time and you would like to improve your posture, decrease pain, and enhance your overall wellness, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. So this is a follow-up video for the wearing the posture brace for 30 days video that I did. I will leave that link for you guys to check out at the end of this video. What kinds of things are you guys looking for in a posture brace? Leave those in the comments down below for me. Or this is specifically for helping with the rounded shoulders. So if you want to know about whether or not uh, one of these posture braces are going to help with a forward head, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video here. But for our purposes today, the first thing that I want you guys to be looking at is whether or not it's bulky, okay? So I am really big on comfort. Is it smooth? Does it have extra panels? Is it gonna show through your clothes? Look, look at this. Okay, this thing is like, there's too much stuff going on here. Look at this. If you have something that has it has a band here and it has a pad here and a separate pad here. It's too much work. I'm sorry. I just, I can't do it. And then there's a whole nother gadget thing down here. You know, I mean, it's, it's just too bulky, too bulky. And too many things can get, do you see how it's like this? there's too many opportunities for it to not lay flat. It's not gonna lay flat. So when I have companies that contact me and they say, would you review my posture brace? Or would you please let your followers know about my posture brace? And I'm like, well, what does your posture brace look like? Is it bulky? Does it have extra panels? Is it going to be smooth underneath my clothes or over my clothes? You see here, it's just too, too bulky. It's too, it has this extra panel here. It's, it slides and this can get bunched up. You see how that, that can get bunched up. Now, in their defense, some people will say it's uncomfortable under the armpit. So I think that they created this piece to try to provide more comfort, but it's still really, really bulky. So, you know, you kind of have to go back to the drawing board on this one. We want a posture brace where the Velcro is going to last. Is the Velcro sticking or is it coming up? I don't know if you can see. This was from a client. Do you see the frame? The other thing that's really important about a posture brace are the openings here and then this back panel right here. If you have your shoulders coming forward 
and part of what is pushing those shoulders forward is your scapula and we want that scapula to go back right so we're using the rhomboids to pull the shoulders back we want those scapula to go back we don't want them winging out So we want to make sure that this back panel here is narrow because if this is wide and your spine is only about this wide here, right? Then this here, all of this here is going to potentially be pushing that scapula forward. So we don't want the scapula to be pushed forward. We want it to be pulled back. We want this space right here to be big enough for everybody's scapula. If this is too small, and this is pretty tiny, this little space right here, if you have somebody and they have a really nice big wing on them, that is not going to fit in. It's just going to push the scapula forward and it's going to make it harder for this panel here to pull the shoulder back. And what that would look like would be something like this. Okay, you see how nice and big this is? And you see how narrow this panel is? So we have the scapula fitting into this nice big space here. And then we have a nice narrow panel that goes over the spine. It like protects the spine. This comes up over the upper part of the back where the traps are. And then this opens up for the scapula. And then this comes over the front of the shoulder. Now look at the difference between these two. Can you see the difference between these two? Even if I open this up more, Say I open it up to the biggest space. Okay. It's still not the same size. It's really, really important to make sure that when you're looking at your posture braces online, I know it's difficult to determine based upon their pictures, what the space is like, but you can tell whether or not this back panel is narrow or whether or not it's wide. Some people may prefer a more narrow band here. Some people might prefer something that's a little bit wider. And then just structure. If you get something like this in the mail, send it back immediately because 
in all seriousness, we're dealing with your structure. We're dealing with bones. And your bones are pulling your body in a certain way. And they're also pulling your muscles in a certain way. So it's like a double whammy. This particular client has a very severe curvature of the spine. And so something like this is just not going to be effective for him. Something like this is going to be much more effective for him. Do you see it has a form? It already kind of has a really nice form to it. Whereas this is just a bunch of strings. You can't, this is not going to work. Okay, so even though you might see a picture of somebody wearing something like this, if they're not holding it up and it has a nice form to it, you want to rethink, is this something that's actually going to work for my body with the postural discrepancies that I have? Okay, you want to think about the severity. This is not a form. This is a form. So these things are really important in part. They have a material here. Can you hear that? Okay, that gives it a little bit of structure. So this was really smart in how they created this. Gives a little bit of structure, but you still have the nice soft material on the underside just in case you're wearing it on your skin. I don't necessarily recommend wearing this on the skin. I really recommend it over a shirt, a t-shirt, maybe under a blazer, um, but I wear it over my shirts. Just straight up, just straight up over my shirts. Real cute. I don't know if you can see, this was from a client. Do you see the frame? all that fraying on there okay now this is satin material but it is all frayed any kind of brace that you're going to wear whether it be a lumbar brace a posture brace anything like that a corrector if it sounds like that the quality is poor that is just not that's just not very well made I have a lumbar video that I did. I have that up here for you guys that you can check out. And that I actually think is a really good lumbar support to help with posture. So that's for the lower half of the body. If you're really looking for something to help support your core, your low back, to the lower part of the mid back, this lumbar support right here is going to be really good and it does not sound like that. So the material is really important. Each of them have the holes in it. So that's awesome. You need the breathability. They're both soft. That's great. But what I have seen out there is nylon material for the whole entire posture brace. If it's not easy to put on and to adjust, no need, you know, look for something else. It should be really easy to put on and to adjust, to take off and um, to care for. Okay, so that's something that I would be definitely looking at. If you guys have any other questions about what I would be looking for, please leave those in the comments down below. If you find 
a posture brace that you really like and you want me to check it out, please let me know. Leave the name of the brand down below. If you're a company and you want me to review your posture corrector, you can contact me via my email address, which is down in the drop box below. On my main YouTube channel, I have a website link, which is on the upper, my upper left, your upper right, and you can message me there. And if there is a posture brace that you absolutely want to tell me about to stay clear from, please leave that down in the comments below as well. This one is called B-A-X-U. If you want to know the posture corrector that I am currently recommending for people, you can check it out here. Leave me lots of comments, likes, and share with your friends, your family. Please stay safe, stay healthy, take really good care of yourself, and until the next video, happy posturing.